What up, climbing fam? How's it going this week? So you guys thought I, I said goodbye for forever last week. No, it's a little bit harder to get rid of me than that. Uh, we're, we're, I'm a climber, right? We're climbers here. We climb to the top. Climb to the top of YouTube. And YouTube is the mountain that just, just never ends. So anyway, <laughs> what's today's episode? Today's episode is my get out of jail free card. It's going to come a time in every climber's career that uh, your partner... Your belay, uh, your rope, uh, your rope chauffeur may not be able to get up the climb that you climbed and will be asking for assistance for you to yank on the rope. So you'll be yanking them up the climb and who knows how long. At that point, you're going to have to come up with some kind of three to one system. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you my three to one system and I think it's the lightest you can make it. You might be able to come up with something lighter. Let me know in the comments below if you can. So let me show you the setup and how it works and, uh, yeah, it's today's episode. Let's get to, let's get to it. Okay, so here's the essential pieces of gear you're gonna need. You're gonna need your gri gri. That's where you're gonna be pulling up your second. A hollow block. You should already have one of these. It's a great third hand. Uh, we're gonna have some D a couple DMM pulley beaners. I'm not exactly what the exact sure what the exact name is. These pulleys aren't a hundred percent efficient. Well, no pulley is, but I think you could get other beaners on the market. They may be a bit heavier. I don't know if these are the lightest ones, but I have a couple pairs of these is what I use. A tri block. This is the probably the lightest you're going to get a rope uh, ascender, a tri block. And then uh, a couple lockers, a couple different lockers you're going to need. So these things, a word of caution, if, if you, you don't need to buy these just for this setup, you could use these for like putting them on different um, pieces so that you're not getting so much rope drag. However, a word about that is you'll actually increase the force on the piece when you add a pulley. If you think about it, let me grab a pulley. A pulley has got to support the load weight from here, and from this side and this side. So if you're pulling up a hundred pound load, hundred kilogram load on this side, you're going to have to match the force on this side too. So the pulley up here is getting 200. So when you have something like the rope going through beaners, you're not getting so much of that force. You're not getting the double force going on. You're getting a little bit less. I would have to measure that out. And double check things. I'd like to maybe get like a. I have to get, invest in a line scale. All the all the fancy YouTube channels have line scales, and then I could show you what I mean with actual line scales and weights and stuff. But yeah, fric friction could actually be a little bit of of a, a benefit on your piece because you're not getting so much load. Like for instance, if you were directly hanging on this piece on on your piece, just you with a clove hitch. It's going to be less weight on your piece than your belayer holding you. So food for thought um, with these, I'd imagine. So my point is, I'd imagine that a fall on this might increase the force on the piece. But I guess that's just uh, hypothetical. I haven't tested that yet. This is just what I imagine. Okay, so let's turn this around and I'll show you how I do the three to one. Okay, so you're probably going to have some anchor set up just like this. And uh, here's our climber. Climber's over here on that side. So we're gonna look at our Grigory and see the climber. Put him on. Climber goes on the camp, the fat side of the Grigory if you're looking at it from the wrong side. But anyway, you always test if it works anyway. So that's a smart way to do it. Clip that into there, just like so. And we can, we're blaying our, our climber up. And now he's gonna say, help! I'm a piece of garbage. I can't climb. Help. Okay, fine. So let me help you up. I'll help you up. Give me a second. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our three to one. Put put a catastrophe knot in here in case you got to go hands off or whatever. All right. Just hang on there for a while. All right. Good. So I should be clipped into this anchor and not just floating in the air. But I drank a Red Bull, so I guess that's why. So uh, right here, 
could do a Clem Heist. Three wraps. You know, dos tres. Okay. Give that a test. Yep, that's pulling. Now we're gonna take our DMM pulley beaner. We're gonna put that over here. Then we're gonna pull this up like that and stick our thing like that. And just like that, we already, if I start pulling on this, bam, we got our three to one. So we push this down like this. Now, this isn't actually a three to one. Why? Because there's so much drag going through this grigri. It probably gets, and then this isn't a perfect pull either. So it probably gets down to like a 1.5 instead of a three to one. Again, I'd probably need some kind of like line scale or something, or I could probably use like a, a luggage scale or something. Maybe just put weights or, or something like that to show you. If you want me to get a line scale, listen, they're like sold out. You could donate to some button that we put down in the description or something. So anyway, you pull up on that and then this actually Act, the Grigri acts as a rope capturing device. So you give that a yank. And then, look at that. There you go. Now, if you wanted to redirect this, which is why I have those other pieces of gear, you can. You can stick that up in there, up in the shelf. Get another, now you can get some downward pull on it. And if you really want to yank on it, and you can't yank on it with your hands, that's why I have this Try block here, and you could just slap that right on there. This little light piece of gear doesn't weigh nothing anyway. And then we could put that on our on our harness. Yeah, and then we can jump like this uh, and really get them up. So that's your that's your quick little get out of jail free card. Um. You can, if you, you, this is, a, I think, going to be the lightest setup, the lightest way to go. You can bring, like, if you want to be more efficient, then you can bring some kind of three-to-one system with some way more efficient, efficient pulleys. And then what you would, what I would do in that scenario is I would piggyback off the Grigri. So I would create my three to one here which would be way more efficient and then i would just pull in the slack on the grigri that way we're cutting the grigri out of acting as a pulley but we're still using it as a progress capturing device keeping the person on belay so yeah i mean right now i could show you that i guess i could show you that like super duper quick no, i'm not going to put efficient pulleys on it but let me just grab something off the floor so let's say for instance, I just did, maybe I made like a, should I make a, I'll just make a two to one or something like that. Grab another beaner, just play around here for a second. Slap this anywhere. I think there's, a, there's an anchor right there. Put that down here. And then why not put that over here? So now what's going on is it's a two to one, but I'm, I'm making it a little bit more efficient because I'm cutting the Grigri out, you see? And then I can move this down like that. So there's that too. I hope that doesn't make anything more complicated. Basically, you want your system to be as efficient as you can. And going through Grigri's isn't the most efficient way. The efficiency turns into heat instead of pulling power. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's, that's, that's about it, let's wrap it up. So I hope you enjoyed our little bit of time together today and learned a thing or two. Hit the subscribe button if you really liked it. Like it if you double like it. And uh, that's about it. I got some more merch coming out. I got two designs I'm making. Maybe I'll tease one right now. It should be. Maybe I could get it, get it on the merch store by tonight. I don't know. I, I have to make sure everything's perfect before I get it. But it's coming out. So keep checking that. Maybe hound me about it and, and if you really want it. And I'll if you really want it. Let me know, and I will try to contact you. If you, send, if you really, really want it, you can just send me an email, and I'll make sure I contact you when it's out or something. Maybe there's got to be some. Anyway, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe I should make a mail list or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, Joshua Perry, climbing out of here.